Hello Aries and welcome to your mid-June 2021 reading. We are going to be looking to your, into your energy today for the sun, moon, and rising signs of the collective. Energies can be reversed. That means cross watchers. If you are listening to this and you go, hey, that sounds like me. It probably is. Just assign it to your life the way that you feel fit, see fit. Um, these messages are timeless. So if you're back to this channel, this reading, there's something in it for you, whether it's today or in the future. If this reading does not resonate with you, just stick around because there's probably something in the reading for you. Also, if it doesn't resonate with you, it just means I'm not picking up on your specific energy. It happens to me sometimes too with my favorite readers. And what I do is I just go, hey, they're not picking up on my energy right now. I'll come back later. So it happens. Okay. All right, so if you like this reading or entertain in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. This way you get notified as soon as I post something new. What happened was in the all signs reading, if you did not see that yet, it'll be in the description box down below. But in the all signs reading where I read for every single sign during the one video and kind of get the collective energy, um, it said that we were all going to be going through a romantic cycle, this right here. And the, they said a new romantic cycle begins for all of us, everybody, whether you're Aries or not. And um, so I, what I decided to do is for the mid-month readings, I was going to go ahead and dive into this a little bit more, which means it'll end up being a love reading. So if you're not here for a love reading, you can still listen to the video because there's going to be good points in it for you. And you can always take a love reading and change it into a career reading just by reading the energy because we're just reading energy. I want to thank all of you that have liked and subscribed and provided donations. There's a link in the description box down below for those people who want to donate. I really appreciate that for supporting the channel. Also, if you're new to this channel, we'd love for you to subscribe and to be with us and come see us all the time. I appreciate you being here. Uh, so Aries, we're going to go ahead and take a look at what's going on in your energy. Let me go ahead and clear off these cards. All right. And I'm only accepting the highest and best truth for the Aries Collective Highest and Best Good, bringing forth the most accurate answers. Aries, if you have not seen the All Signs video, go in the description box down below and there's a link to it. If you want a longer video than this and something that has to do with June and talks about crystals and essential oils and releases trapped emotions, that's all in the June reading of the Aries. And that is in the description box down below. Okay? All right. All right, what do we have for Aries and love in the new romantic cycle? And I know the energy has been so strong on the planet the last couple of days. That's why I haven't done anything. One, I was exhausted last night. And two, I, um, I did two Aries videos and I was in such a weird mood. I had to just stop them. They just weren't, they didn't feel right. They didn't feel good. I just deleted them. <laughs> so um, this is actually my third and I hope that I'm in good energy. No, I am. I'm in, I'm in better because I, was, I just did a whole bunch of Reiki sessions and I feel better now. So, okay. Let's see what's going on, Aries. Let's see how I can help you. So that's past, present, hidden, advice, and outcome. All right. So what happened in the all signs video is it said that we were going to have separation and it was going to be very passionate and it was could be the one. So what is this? So separation could be one of three things. One, you are not physically near the person. Two, you are with the person, but you are not emotionally connected. Or three, you've never even met the person before. And it's saying that when this comes together, it's going to be so passionate. It's uh, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Like it's going to be pretty passionate, right? And then it says that this could be the one. So you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay, so that's really good. So we know that this is somebody in our lives or so for some of them, I think it was Capricorn, their, theirs was somebody that they were not noticing was the person. So they were judging the book by its cover. But let's see what's going on with you, Aries. So in the past, in the past, you had a relationship. It was harmonious. Um, it was heavenly guided. You felt really good with this person. You felt um, uh, pretty amazing. Like they're they're on the same page, same team. You know, um, you felt like you really connected well with this person. And I think they felt the same way, right? For whatever reason, why this got separated, 
well, it could be many, many reasons, but it did. It got separated. It was, what, what they want you to know is that it was a great relationship. You both felt really good about it. And now it does. it's not happening right now for some reason, right? All right, so let's talk about the present. The present is, this is very spiritually guided. It's This is a person who, in the present, you both have been there, done that. I've seen the world, now I'm teaching about it, right? But I'm not that I'm just seeing the world and I'm teaching about it, but I've seen the world, I've learned a lot of spiritual things from the world, and now I'm gonna teach everybody. I'm gonna teach about it. This is a person who, see these guys are coming and listening to this person speak. The Hierophant is a highly spiritually connected person. They have been through some crap, and I'm hearing that both of you guys have, and both of you guys are more mature and you're living kind of in a different energy when it comes to the relationship, okay? What's hidden is the communication. So this is interesting because the what's hidden from this relationship is the good news that it is. The communication isn't there. Um, the trust isn't fully there because we haven't built upon this relationship enough for there to be 100% trust. I mean, the trust was broken in the relationship in some, some way, some fashion, and we still haven't, you know, it's hidden now, right? It's there, but we, you can't see it. The, the writings that they've written about you and the writings that you've written about them, you can't see it. Okay. It's all hidden. This is all hidden energy. Um, also, those reminiscing chats that you guys are going over in your head over and over and over again about each other, it's hidden. You're not seeing it right now. It's the hidden energy is that. The hidden energy is being able to express yourselves to each other in a very positive, healthy way. There's either no communication at all or the communication that there is kind of, um, it's not great. It's not the best of communications. Like you've had better times where you have wanted to spend all night just talking and you guys just enjoyed each other talking so much. Right now I'm hearing that that is like not there. It's just not there. Okay. You're, the communication isn't pretty right now or there is no communication at all. The advice is somebody is leaving some relationships, not your relationship but relationships that they um, are very closely connected to. In some cases, this could be a three, okay? A, th a third party situation. Um, this could be, it uh, just could be a three people, okay? Or this could be someone getting out of a relationship that created it to be a threesome, not a, like a threesome, like in a sexual way, but like a three people. So maybe they had a relationship, but in order to come to you, they have to get rid of that relationship, okay? And they're happy to do it. They, I mean, I wouldn't say happy. They're willing to do it. They're, um, they, okay, to be honest, like they feel like deep down inside, they, they want to do it like really bad, okay? Um, but uh, anyway, so this can be a fire sign because he's got red. Uh, we have cups, so that would be cancer. So you can have any, that's just the energy. Doesn't mean that somebody is actually those signs. This could be air sign because it has the wings. So anytime you see wings could be an air sign, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody who had a relationship was probably a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or they had the energy of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is a spiritual card. And then we have um, fiery talks or just, you know, that's what's happening. Or the hidden is the fiery, passionate talks, okay? Now the outcome is uh, leaving. That's the outcome. The outcome, not leaving you, but leaving all of that old energy. So we're all in a time of transformation. And if we're transforming into a new cycle, a new romantic cycle, people think, oh my gosh, that means like June 10th, if that's a new romantic cycle, it's starting today, where's my romance? It doesn't really work like that. It's kind of overlapping, so. Um, we have energies. That's why I try to do the readings as close as I can to the month or to the end of the month or whatever. Um, this one I chose to do a little bit earlier because I'm expanding upon the um, energy and I'm going to probably have to do an energy update later because of it, but that's okay But because we kind of need to know what's going on. So energy kind of overlaps. 
we start to, it, it kind of gradually happens. So the romantic cycle isn't gonna be like, boom, now you have romance. That's what we expect and that's what we think, but that's just not how it works. It kind of just kind of layers on top of each other until one day you look up and you go, oh my gosh, this is super romantic. Okay, that could be one day you look up like three months from now or six months from now because it, you have to move through that relationship to kind of get there, right? Let me see if I can get some more advice about that. Oh, the overall energy. I didn't tell you that was the Page of Cups and the Page of Cups is beautiful, okay? It's love, it's good news, it's good money. I mean, you're gonna be dreamy, dreaming about love, intuitive and enjoying life. It's gonna, it's good energy. So this whole reading is actually really good. It's based on good energy. It may not feel like it right now because it's just, there's just so much energy passing through everybody and um, we're all feeding off of each other and it's just like, it's kind of crazy. So just, this is what's happening. We have about a week left maybe of, I wouldn't even say lighter energy because the solar eclipse kind of stole that. Normally during Mercury retrograde, you have a little bit of lighter energy in the middle of it. Um, but because of the solar eclipse, it's just like, I, I don't feel like we're getting much of a reprieve. It's been pretty crazy. And the last week of June will be pretty, um, pretty hot and fiery. Okay. So be careful. Don't end relationships. Just, just wait, wait. So wait for those very, if, you, if you're thinking about ending a relationship, just, just wait. Okay. Um, because now is not the time to make that type of a decision. We don't make big decisions until after the retrograde. So what you can say is let's revisit this conversation or let's revisit visit this after, you know, after the retrograde. Or you can say that they don't know what that is, say July 1st or after, in the first week of July. Like, I don't want to make any decisions right now. Like, I'm not in the place to make good decisions, so I'm just not going to do that. Okay, let's clarify the, um, the moving on, okay? Okay. Okay, well, it's beautiful. I'll tell you that much. There you go. You got another cup of love. So you got the Knight of Cups, which is just as beautiful. Okay, so as you're moving on, what's going to be, you're going to be moving, let me do it this way. Moving on from is the Ace of Swords, which is really cutting things, cutting things out that doesn't serve your relationship. Observing it, realizing it, and saying, you know what, this doesn't really work for us. Let's do something different, okay? But the Ace of Swords is very successful. It's gonna make you very clear thinking, very logical. Um, you're gonna make immediate changes for the better. So it's gonna be like, hey, and, and it's really about talking to your partner with um, a non-judgmental kind of thought process and just being like, okay, look, this is what we need to do. You know, judge the situation. Don't be fiery about it. And sometimes it means confrontation, but it doesn't have to be a fiery Aries com confrontation. Okay. It just, it just means like, um, and Aries, you can be really logical. So get into your logical brain when having conversations and be a little bit more, um, compassionate. All right. Um, because what I am saying is it's going to make the, the world move. It's going to make the will move. It's going to make this moving start to happen as you guys have conversations about things that could be better. Hey, let's not break it off just right now. Um, let's wait and make that decision for July, but let's go ahead and use this period of the Mercury retrograde and the energy of the retrograde and the solar eclipse to plan some things that, you know, if, if we could have anything, what would we do? If we could have it any way, what would we do? Right. And this could also be moving, like actually moving. So some of you guys might be actually moving, which is really cool. Um, the Knight of Cups is um, a proposal. It could be a contract. It could be a romance. It could be new friends. It could be open to new love. Don't judge a book by its cover. So you and Capricorn have the same type of thing where you might be judging the book by its cover and saying, there's no way that's person's for me or there's no way this is going to work out. You've got to give the universe a chance. You've got to give it a chance to kind of work through, stop judging the situation and being like, there's just no way this is going to work. Fire, you know, Aries, you get so fiery that you're like this, 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 right? And upside down is judgment. So um, this is saying that, that we, we don't need to, this point, we're not going to be really judging ourselves or the relationship. Um, normally this is like a life review, but I really feel like in this case, it's saying that because this is upside down energy when it's right side up, it's more positive. I think when it's upside down or what I'm feeling like what they're telling me is when it's upside down, it's like, it's more of a negative connotation of judging judgment. And so I'm feeling like this proposal is going to stop you from judging the relationships 
stop you from trying to pick it apart and saying this is what you know it has to be or needs to be in order for it to be perfect it's like go with the flow and really try to feel the way the relationship would how can we make it move in the right direction what do we need to do what types of things do we need to look at logically what types of things can and not logically to where i'm criticizing condemning complaining it's logically like looking at it and saying okay so what do you need you know um if it's like you know the kids are always around all the time then you ask the question okay so what do you need what what would it look like if the kids weren't around all the time right because it's summer right now right so maybe you go what does that mean and then maybe your partner goes well i'd really like to spend some more alone time with you and it just seems like we have kids around all the time okay well um what what does that look like for you you know what I mean? What, what do you want to do? Do you want to put them in camps? Do you want to get a babysitter and go um, on a date night? I mean, what, what do you need to do? What do you want to do? So it's not like criticizing the situation and saying, man, you know, you're just always yelling at the kids or you're always, and it's really criticizing the person. Instead, it's like, um, okay, so that's not working. So what can we do to make it better? You know what I mean? And we're not fixing problems because sometimes areas we can get into the idea that fixing problems is the way we do things. It's not about fixing problems, making it better. It's about asking questions and communicating and saying, okay, so what does a good relationship look like for you? A good relationship is we date like two times a week where there's no, there's no kids. Oh, okay. Well, let's do that then. You know what I mean? How can we make that happen? What do we need to do? Do we have the kids spend the night at somebody's house? Um, do we get a babysitter? Do we put them in like the YMCA, you know, nighttime or parent night out or something like that? I mean, there's some type of thing that you can do, okay? So it's really, and I'm just giving that an example for those of you who don't have kids. It's just really looking at your relationship and being compassionate about it and not ripping the other person apart because Aries we can get pretty fiery right so it's not about being fiery it's about helping that person come to the conclusion that they need to all right and Aries remember that Aries we were so we're so strong sometimes that I'm hearing is sometimes Aries likes to wear the pants in the in the fam in the family in the relationship and that sometimes especially if you're a woman and you have a man you don't want to take that um masculinity from them by by being the masculine and the feminine you know what i mean like let them be masculine about the situation sometimes as well as what i'm hearing like let them let them be the man all right and that doesn't have to be man or woman that could be anybody who's holding the masculine or feminine energies that let the other person have some of that masculinity and that fire okay especially if it's like a water sign or, a, or water any of the other signs but mainly a water sign you know because water and fire they don't really mix so um something to, just to kind of think about let them let them have the fire sometimes let them have the fiery stick okay all right let's see what this person is thinking about you person that is coming in this new romantic cycle for you let's see what's coming in for you hmm that's very good okay so this is very interesting okay there's a couple of things that are coming out aries um, the first one is I'm starting to understand our connection. I remember cross watchers. If you feel like this is something that you're saying, then this is this is your energy, okay? It could be Aries saying this to you, but I'm just gonna throw these cards out there. I'm starting to understand our connection. Okay, it's a deep connection. All right. Um, I wish had I wish I had treated you better. All right. Sometimes I lie awake thinking, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I wonder if you'd be happier without me or happy without me. And the last one is, I remember every detail of that day. So that's that's some really powerful cards, right? And this one says, I feel you leaving me behind. Um, and Aries, yeah, I mean, you're pretty, you're pretty fiery and you have a tendency to just be like, um, I don't need you. I got this. I'll do it all on my own, you know? And when we have that type of energy, people can feel left behind for sure. Um, 
they're starting to understand how deep the connection really is because I don't think that they realized how deep it was. I don't think that they realized this in the beginning. I mean, I think that they thought you were, you know, hot or whatever. And they were like, yeah, <laughs> but I'm not sure that they really understood how deep uh, the connection is, right? Um, because right now we're moving into the more spiritually connected connection. And that's interesting, right? Because before it was just like, oh yeah, that's hot. But now it's like, okay, no, this is deeper than hot, all right? And then, um, I wish I had treated you better, right? And that's where this, 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 this they want to talk. They want to talk to you. That's where this is coming from. You know, I wish I had treated you better. They want to tell you that. They want to talk to you, okay? And the next one is, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Well, I bet they do because they want this, right? They want to get rid of this person and, and be with you. So now they're, think they're thinking about that at night. Like, how can I make that happen? How can I cut that other stuff out so I can make this happen? Can I do that? Yes, you can. Okay. And the other one is, I wonder if you are happier without me or happy without me. Well, Aries, we know we're not, right? We're not. So sad that they think that, right? So be compassionate to this person. And I remember every detail of that day. So there's some kind of day, whether it was good or bad, this person is going over all the details. I sang a song, um, The Night We Met. I can't remember how it goes right now. I'm like pretty tired. I'm trying to get these, these videos out because tomorrow I'm gonna be in a Reiki training for the next three days all day long. So I don't think I'm gonna be doing any videos. I'm gonna be meditating for three days for from, from eight in the morning till five in the afternoon. It's going to be extensive. So um, I'm gonna be going through a very extensive training. It's the second time I've done the master Reiki class. So this is, I'm doing it again. Anyway, so I wanna make sure I can get these out. So um, they just remembering every detail of the day, of the day was either a bad day or a good day, but whatever it is, they're remembering every detail about you and about the relationship and all of those things. Okay, so um, let's see if I have anything else, Aries. Because I need to do a Scorpio reading before I go to bed tonight. I'm getting kind of tired. So I didn't want you to wait too long. Because I know the energy is insane right now. People are like, please do my reading. Please, please tell me what's going on. So if I don't sound enthusiastic, it's just because it's really late. And... This is the only time I can do it because I got kids. Aries, what do we have? Okay, so this is beautiful. This is really awesome. So they're saying that my love for you is without bound. That's gorgeous. Don't think I don't care about you because I really do. That's awesome too. And I can see eternity in your eyes. And I know you are my other half. So that's a good way to end the video tonight. You guys, thank you so much for sharing your time with me and coming to my channel and supporting it. And I hope that you have a, the best rest of your Mercury, Mercury retrograde and your solar eclipse. You guys get through it. You got this. Okay, bye.